different qirats of the Quran. Now the Quran is still one in the sense that that is the key source, but it's got different qirats, which is basically just a different modes of recitation because there are so many different dialects at that time. So, so the angel Jibreel basically uh, was asked by the Prophet ﷺ himself as to give him more dialects or more modes of recitation that it'll be easy for the other tribes to recite him. Yeah. So it's still, it's still the source is still the same. So it's still from Allah yeah. through the angel Jibril yeah. from but and to the Prophet yeah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It does seem to be uh, is it Uthman? Uthman? Yeah, Uthman. Yeah. He standardized. He standardized the Quran. The Qurayshi dialect. Yeah. yeah. So because obviously you only wanted one Quran. Yeah. According to the scholar, it didn't actually work. So there was. No, no, no. It did, it's not that it didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Because afterwards, afterwards, apparently there was what? sort of up to uh, like 25 Qurans or something, and then. Couple, there's still there's one of, Quran, different Qirats, different recitations of that. Yeah, but if that's the case, why would each time they go to such lengths to bring in these Qurans to get rid of them? I think the first time. But they were already there from the beginning. I told you, the different Qirats were already there from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. In fact, he was the one who asked Jibril, the angel, to bring in more. But again, time flows on. And when the angel Gabriel comes with your Quran, yeah. okay, but time moves on. So there's lots of different Qurans uh, and they get burned by often. Uh, I think you got it all mixed up now. Well, no, the burning the burning of the wasn't of the Quran. It was the personal copies of the people. So yeah. for example, if they, they might have written the Quran themselves yeah. or they might have heard the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and written it in the same place. So now many things were kind of mixed into their own okay. personal so, copies. So, yeah, so when that new Quran, when that new Quran oh. was created, so. Sorry, what do you mean new Quran? I don't understand. Well, Can you if, qualify if, if that? There's, if there's other Qurans that, aren't, that they've heard, that's been written down, that isn't quite matching No, up. no, it's not other Quran. So let, let me ask you this. There is, for example, if you witnessed a particular event and your yeah. friend witnessed that particular event, yeah. the way both of you would narrate it would be different, right? It's even though it's the same, even though it's the same event. Yeah, but if the Quran is not perfectly preserved, that should happen surely. No, the Quran is preserved, Mansur. Perfectly preserved, it should happen surely. So, brother Mansur, sorry. He has more information on this. That's why I called him. So, what you don't understand is the difference between the Quran itself and the Qiraat of the Quran. So, the Qiraat were also authenticated by the Prophet himself. So maybe Mansur will be able to share. Okay. So he's, he's, he's saying, why were there like so many Qurans in the time afterwards, after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and not give to Mansur? Yeah, so basically, once Uthman's got his uh, uh, Quran out there. Say again? Once Uthman's got the Quran out there, which he's happy with, okay, I'm assuming whoever... whoever all, all the different Qiraat he was happy with. Whoever, whoever put this new one, this one together, that they, they was happy with. It seems like so the so the prophet. Like, it seems like a few years later. There's, no, no, no. There's a lot more. What's what's your name? Dave. 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 The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself taught the companions the different modes of recitation. So it wasn't something new invented later on. Okay, so basically, uh, when when Muhammad said there's it's come down seven times, so when you're giving people recite something slightly different, and uh, Muhammad said it come down seven times. Not seven times, in seven different modes, so seven different, seven different kirats, yeah. Yeah. So that is. So how do? You What's wrong with that? One is the correct one. All of them are correct. That's let's, very confusing. Actually, that, actually, let's. Let's start with you from your understanding. He'll be able to explain. Mansur will be able to explain. Tell, just inform us, what do you understand by the process that the Quran was given to the Prophet and how it came to us? Just briefly explain what you know. No, no, I'm just, um, I don't know much about the Quran, I've already mentioned to the Lord. I don't know where he's gone now. Yeah. From yeah. what you know, and then we can then address no, no, any was, concerns that you may have. Yeah, I was watching a uh, Muslim scholar uh, talking about... He's uh, talking about Yasser Khan. Okay, yeah. okay so... Um, who did you who did you watch? No, well, one was uh, Yasser Qadi, and the other one was. Um, let's let's start with um, Yasser Qadi. Yeah, um, anyway. What did you watch? Anyway. Oh, no, no, it's not. Anyway, it's important no, no, because no, I think. Because no, no. it... that's your main objection. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Sorry. Other questions. Dave. Yeah. 
I would like to really get to understand what you know about the subject. No, I don't know a lot. And that's what I'm asking. From what you know, remember you mentioned you've seen or you heard something about uh, Dr. Yasir Qadi, right? So, what do you re recollect from what you know from Yasir Qadi? What does he say? Yasir Qadi, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there like a shirt? Just basically looking, i.e. watching the like issue of discussion on the line. What he was discussing it was he didn't seem to believe that Just as oral uh, communication was reliable. Where did he state that in his video? Stop there, one point at a time. No, no, no. Do you recollect a phrase or a statement? No, sorry, sorry. If you have watched a video of a professor or a, or a scholar explaining something, of course, it means that there's something that you have understood from it, which gives you the indication that, yes, um, this is what he's saying. What do you recollect that he said that gives you the indication that just be patient. That gives you the indication that the oral transmission is not reliable. Would you like to share? Because I've watched that interview too. So, so at least both of us have seen the same interview. So go ahead. What do you recollect? The way I, the way I, I look upon the, the way I look upon it, um, when I was a, when I was, in, when I was a kid in school, just basic being a kid in school, so a little child. So was I. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. no different between so you and me here. We, we, the teacher would play a game. And what she do is she write on a piece of paper something to tell a little child something, and that child to tell the next person. And by the time it goes around, it just maybe 20 kids in a class. By the time we got to the end, the message was totally obliterated. Chinese, Chinese whispers, right? And so what she do is she show us yeah. what was she originally saying. Oh. So it'd be different. Sure. Okay. Is this what the other party was talking about? So I know you guys. Uh, scholars or no, we're not scholars. Very learned. We are not scholars. And so, forever, would you mind coming back to Yasir Qadi? It's very important because everyone wants to learn now. Because you seem to have some issues and concern. Yeah. What of the statement of Yasir Qadi indicated to you yeah. that the oral transmission of the Quran is not reliable as you stated? Because of people like Chinese whispers, as it was. Did he explain yeah. that way? No, he didn't say Chinese whispers. So, what did he explain? I'm not very, I'm not bright enough to be honest to gather all the details because I've already since I've already said okay so I'm not saying anything I, don't, I can't say that things I don't know but the questions I have for you gently stop stop please they, they, sorry wait, 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 wait. I apologize for interjection and interruption I am not going to move away from Yasir Qadi as his starting point and then and then allow me to make my point please allow me to make my point with all due respect you have stated that you have watched Yasir Qadi now I could ask you for clarification was this the interview that he had or out of his one second out of his excuse me Dave excuse me Dave Dave it is not fair that you just throw a name on the table and you assume that everyone knows what they're talking about. So, so, so do you have any concern from Yasir Qadi or are you going I to move on to an ex-scholar? What is your main objection with Yasir Qadi's statement? No, no, no. I've been told. That By who? By the Quran. Yes. The Quran. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Let, let me deal with it. It's come down to one. So with respect, I was talking to someone completely different than yourself and other people. Why don't you don't speak okay. to us now and we'll see what we so, understand. So, basically, my, my primary concerns is as I understand it, I'm listening, yeah. okay, and I'm not a scholar. So okay? remember, so recollect what you have listened. Let me finish. Yeah. I'll let you talk a lot. Oh, okay. Um, as I understand it, okay, when um, Mohammed said seven times, there's seven ways for this, um, this conversation yeah. being done. So my point is, is, is that supposed to make it more simple? Right? Yeah. How is seven times more simple than just the one? Because for them, sure. that, um, without explaining anything, let's go thing. to the bottom of the subject. Okay. So, and then, and hurry then, up. But what, what, what worries me as well is when he went on to, um, I know, Uthman, it might have been the third caliph, is it? Yeah, is he it the is. third caliph? When he burnt Qurans, what? Non standard Quran. That, that is, that is, I mean, surely, I'll be funny, but when I've seen people get yelled at and protested at burning Qurans, 
Uh, different reasons we both know. Let's not even. But my point is that the crime. One is malicious, you know that. The crime's being burned. Yeah, but this guy, for me, what this guy is doing, this Khalid, it sounds malicious to me. Why? Why would you burn Qurans? Unless you want to get rid of them. But you said you have resources, so why did he burn the Qurans? Excuse me, I haven't read, I didn't say read to your putting things in my mouth. No, but you, you said he burned the Quran, so you must have read something, right? Well, or you heard it from someone? Well, Which know, one is it? You know where I've heard it from. I was just okay, so it's here to say mostly, yeah. Okay, so that, so that happened. Okay. Okay, to put the Quran smaller again. Then there's more, there's even more Quran. Uh, there's too many already, that's fine. In, in history. So then it gets codified into seven. So, uh, I mean. I think so it's got the both. It goes, so it goes to seven, no, that's fine. Let him finish and then we'll. And apparently, apparently, that's fine. We'll answer your question. Uh, apparently, according to his scholar, it goes up to possibly 50 at one point, around the 10th century. Which, which scholar? So, <laughs> Hashim, so, let him speak so, and, and see. Him. Listen, just, uh, please, please, listen. Please, I just want to know why. You speak so, to me, right? So because the brother invited me. Yeah. Um, so speak well, to me. Then he knows just, more about yeah. it, so I will, I will delegate it to him um, to so, respond so to you. Yeah, so basically, what I want to know is, it seems like there's a history uh, from what I've, I've looked at, like yeah. on YouTube. So yeah, exactly. if if. Unless he's lying, that is that is a possibility because I don't know the chap in personally. But from the way he was talking, it goes from uh, lots of different Qurans suddenly to being qualified into only a couple, into a few. Then it seems to expand again, and people seem to be quite, people apparently are quite happy with the expansion of Qurans. And then uh, it seems to be uh, put down to like 14. So. Uh, well, 10 to, then 14, so I'm just wondering what's happening, how how does this happen, Sure. and why, why does... Would you like to know the answer? Oh, that's what I'm asking. Very good, so now let's go back to Yasir Qadi, because you've watched his... No, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. Why are you interrupting no, 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 when no, no, I'm no, no. speaking? Because I've, I've Excuse asked me, question. Dave, Dave, Dave's answering you, but Dave, you have to give him the chance. Yeah, yeah. Try to... Yeah behave in a civilized way so i tried to listen to you when i interrupted you and i apologize for interrupting in the beginning so i let you speak yeah you've made your question and yeah. i've listened to it okay all right in my head i've made points okay now you started by saying you also listen to a scholar and yeah. you've named that scholar dr yasir qadi and there's another um, one called uh, yes um, oh oh dear Sadai, Sadai, something, I don't know what it's like, but go on, yeah. It's no problem, two, two, you can remember, you can remember this thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know who, who you're talking to, I'm right. talking about, but that's fine. Yeah. So you've watched Dr. Yasir Qadi. Um, so what? I've, seen, I've seen a couple, two, two different scholars. Uh, one, Would you like one, to let so, me speak? Yeah, I'm just saying, no, I just want to clarify. Okay, two scholars, we I've heard you, that's fine. I've seen two scholars talking about the Qur'an, yeah. Yeah. okay, so... Obviously, they're, Fine, they're, good. they're experts in the Quran, apparently. Uh, uh, so, wait, stop there, stop there, stop, so stop, stop. Know what's going on. Stop there. Yasir Qadi, what is his expertise? Dr. Yasir Qadi. I'm, 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 I'm assuming he's a. Uh, Why do you assume? Why do you assume? You should, once you know someone is a scholar, for example, there was a guy that's supposed well, to come here. One moment, well, why are you interrupting when I'm speaking? Oh, no, Excuse you me. Ask me a question, so I'm just, I just remembered okay. something. So go ahead. I saw yes uh, what is his specialty in? I saw Yasser Qadi particularly in an interview with. Uh, no, I'm, I'm asking you a simple question. I'm asking no, no, you a simple no, question. I'm asking you a question. I saw that chap in a dialogue. I'm asking you a very simple James question. White, so. Very simple question. Yeah. Brother, his highest level of education, where is it from? What university? Uh, brother, what? brother, fine. Yeah, yeah. Dr. James White. What is his specialty, do you know? Yeah, well, he's an apologist, particularly. Apologist, fine. Yeah, yeah. What is his specialty of Dr. Yasir Khadi? I don't know, well, he, apparently he did... Don't say apparently, either you know or you don't. Well, apparently he went to Saudi Arabia. No, no, I think excuse me, too... apparently, there's no such thing apparently. If so, somebody's so, a scholar, are you, are you to say allow me to finish my Yasir point. Khadi is? Excuse me. No, are you saying you don't know who he is? And he's no, no, it's not me guy. that I don't know, I'm asking you. Well, no, that's so, important, because you're saying... I know who your, he is. I know what his specialty is. Dave, it'll be easier if Dave, you just said I don't know. So, Listen, here, is, here is the clarification that's needed. Yeah. When you put forward Yasir Qadi as a specialist in the Quran, so I'm going to ask you once again, once more, to make it clear, right? Hear my question. When people become a scholar, they specialize, they specialize in a very specialized subject. Yeah. For example, once you do your PhD, this is your specialization. And then you can further specialize within the field of what you've done in your thesis, right? You can further specialize. Yeah. So, do you know 
what was the thesis of his PhD on what specialty, number one. Secondly, what is his specialty that he understands to be his specialty? Okay. Now, you have the option to say no, no I don't know. I want to know is, <laughs> I'm asking you a very simple oh, question. No, 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 the simple, I want the simple answer. Yeah, to, no, I'm right? asking you the question. Are they right? Excuse me, are no. They wrong? There is no running away from this discussion. No, 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 there isn't. Here, are they right? Here, or are they wrong? Excuse me, That's Dave. That's what I need to know. Dave, so you need to tell if you are me. interested in a polemical discussion, you've come to the wrong listen, platform. Listen, listen. If you are sincere uh, and you're willing to learn and engage in a discussion but in an academic not, manner, and you sincerely want to know about the subject, yeah. then you need to clarify this question. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you I'll know this questions. specialty I'll of Dr. Yasser Fadi? You are deflecting the, what I'm asking. I'm asking simple okay. questions. The audience who are listening, do you understand my question? I'm asking. Good. I'm asking, so the question I'm asking is, if I bring, I, no, if I no, no, bring. No, 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 no. I'm asking questions about your history, chronic history. I'm trying to answer them for you. No, you're not. You're talking about yes, Akadi, you're talking about all this. You're who brought, brought him up? Who brought you up? You're talking about everything. Who brought him up? Listen, you're I will listen. About, you're but can you answer? Everything. Did you bring him up? You are talking about everything other than what I've asked. But I'm no, trying no, no, to no, answer. No, 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 no. you're deflecting. How am you're I deflecting? deflecting. Enlighten me, how am I deflecting? I've asked the questions, yeah. you're deflecting. Okay, can I answer now? Okay, no, you're <laughs> deflecting. It appears he doesn't know the qualification, okay. maybe you can just tell him. Also. You are deflecting, I've asked simple questions no, no, no. about... Never give them the answer. <laughs> Let them do some homework. Okay, I've asked you questions for you to answer though. Right, those. let me now answer you. So okay? now, I want the, the answers Let me answer questions. you, no, let me answer deflecting. you. Let me answer you. In support of your claim, you brought a scholar. That's scholars. Two scholars, two scholars. Oh, when you say two scholars, yeah. um, you don't remember so the name. You don't remember the name of the other scholar. But what is his specialty? You don't know, or do you know? I don't know. No. Fine. So when you bring a support for assertion or a statement that you make for yeah. a claim, and you don't even know whether they're qualified or not on that subject, yeah. we can just rest assured, leave them aside for the time being until you can demonstrate that in any court of law. When you bring a witness, okay, okay. Hey, let me no, finish. No, no, no. I have not finished wait, yet. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I have not finished. When you again. bring a witness in a court of law, excuse me, you need I have to not stop finished. interrupting. When you bring a witness in a court of law, and the judge wants to know, not is the question. witness? Are you? Why are you interrupting? I'm, 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 why are you interrupting? You're, you're not answering. The I am answering. No, you're not. So listen. So in a court of law, when a witness is invited to provide. Excuse this is me. Speaker's corner. Dave. You ask questions. Dave. And if someone reflects, if Dave. someone wants a simple answer. The whole world is watching you. I don't care. You don't Listen. care? The whole world is going to judge you by what you are saying and, and what you are doing world and how you are behaving. Judge you by you not answering back to answer but I am putting things You have to let straight. me finish. So let me finish, right. No, no, so wait, wait, wait. Just answer the question. I am. You Don't you understand? I'm answering. You're not, you're so be a patient. Answer, so here you is how I answer. answer. Listen, so, want me to finish? You did it answer. Right. answer so him. when you, this guy when you, scar, you brother, brother, please, thank you very much. I don't need any support. When you bring a support for your statement, an evidential support, in a court of law, Listen. let me finish. No, 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 no. If you keep on interrupting, then you better just walk away. Listen. Because you're not willing to have a dialogue in knowledge and sincerity. Listen. Because I can, if you are, then let me finish them. Okay, I take two minutes to make my point. Okay, what time if you want. When we want to support our statement, like in a court of law, when somebody says, I know, this okay. is what happened. Uh, two minutes and you can't even eat. Subhanallah. Listen. Two minutes. Listen. Two minutes. So when the court summons a professional, an expert for corroborating a statement or something with their professional judgment, they can't just bring Tom Dick and Harry in the street to provide, say, I'm a cardiac surgeon and I know when this guy has operated, uh, being operated on his heart, that's where the malfunction was or the error of judgment was of that surgeon who operated it. So I can tell you as a second opinion or an expert, the operation was done incorrectly. Let me finish, not two minutes yet. Well, what's wrong with you? Now, Excuse me. Excuse so, me. I didn't say anything. thank you. So don't just be agitated then. So when you bring support for your claims, an expert, we need to first understand is this person an expert or not? You can't just bring any person who supposedly you know, he's well known. I can bring, for example, Tony Blair, he's well known worldwide as an expert in the Quranic 
sciences. But that is not going to be acceptable. Why? His fame doesn't count. What counts is his professional knowledge and expertise. So, you started by claiming that you have a scholar who said oral transmission isn't reliable. Two questions I ask, and I am not going to move away from these two questions unless you answer them, or you say I don't know. What is this expertise of Dr. Yasser Qadi in what specialty? Secondly, secondly, where does he say in his interviews or in his lectures that oral transmission of the Quran is not reliable as you said? Those of you who have joining us late, go back to the video and rewind and say he made that statement. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay, now still, still, after all this, right? I asked, I was asking the Muslim about what I saw. This is a simple conversation. I hope you find a simple answer. Okay. So, now get Mansour. Is it Mansour? Maybe? What's your name, sir? Carry on, I'm listening. Why am I, why am I supposed to interrupt? I'm asking what his name is. Mansour. So, I get Mansour. So, I asked him this, the same stuff. And what do I get? I still haven't got an answer. But he's spoken for what, 15, 20 minutes. But is he giving well, me I think you made answer? a claim and he was trying to clarify he, your no, no, claim wait, wait, was incorrect. Wait, wait. Is he giving me an answer to a query I got? Okay, so I don't know much of it is though. I've already said that. Okay, so I'm expecting an answer. And after a lot of talking and a lot of stuff, he still hasn't given me an answer. Where is that in the platform? Who will answer So why there's like 25, <coughs> some point to 50 Qurans this particular chap was talking about in his dialogue on YouTube and he's a Muslim scholar. So while I'm not an expert and I hold my hands up not to be an expert... It's clearly like, obvious, you know. That's fine. But you don't have to be an expert. I've, I've got questions from experts that still haven't been answered apart from lots of deflections. Okay. So what is the expert so, in and where so, did you say what you said? So ultimately, I still haven't... I don't know, you seem to be an expert. Never claimed to be one. I still haven't got an answer though. So I question. think the discussion will soon end will because, end because, because your waffling, your no, waffling doesn't benefit anyone. No, I no, came to give you an opportunity, remember? You're I didn't come and say, you're not I am now talking, I am now talking. Listen, you're I am now talking. You're not Dave, I am talking. talking. So learn how to behave and talk. No, if listen. you don't know how to talk, then perhaps you need to go back to... I was hoping you... No, no, I was hoping you that you at least understand properly. how we talk to each other. If you don't even know how to talk to people, then first lesson is learn how to talk. Second lesson is ask if you don't know. Third lesson is, third lesson is ask, ask sincerely. I have asked. Right. I was talking sincerely to the person I was right. actually talking to. Right. Go ahead. And, and the second per Muslim Answer person. the question that I asked. And the second person I Dave, was talking to. Enough waffling. Okay. Now, what is his specialty? No, no. Do you, do you know? Excuse me. Don't tell me. Do you know? I'm explaining. Do to you, you know his specialty? So don't do say you I'm know? waffling. Excuse do me. You know his specialty? You're, you're showing me disrespect. Okay. okay. Those of you who are listening, how many times? Have I asked this question? What is the specialty of Dr. Okay. Yasser Qadi? And, and watching, did you hear an answer? Everybody watching, everybody watching, he still has an answer to the question. He still has an answer to the question. Thank you very much. I don't watch the people you know, who come here for jobs. Sorry. Sorry, people. I don't, I'm not the time waster for people who are jokers and comedians. I want to know what happened.